or you know a lot of players that we don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a lot of, it's a special for us, it's special and new for you guys back home. Yeah. And like, it's just a great opportunity for everybody all around, but, you know, we should definitely see a lot of crazy things coming from Komoro and I. One of the best team synergies in the game. Oh my gosh! Okay, the red team, I don't know if you noticed what was happening, but there was a situation where Komoro Kiri was making it difficult for, uh, Kamitama. And then Sasaga just came through with a throw and he was like, yo, get, get hands off. Yeah. Like, I love the fact that they understand that if any of their teammates are in a bad spot, they will come through and help. And okay. oh my gosh, Renai ate a Gordo. Yup. Uh oh, scary. But uh, Renai ate the Gordo when it was bouncing up and down, so he has to use it very, very carefully. Otherwise, he actually might get hit back by it. Jeez, man. Sasaka was Mario. Go sleep. Oh, nice swing right there by Komori Kiri. Oh, see? Yup. Look at there instant it is. kill. And again by Renai, another pocket on that Gordo. Yeah, for all you villager mains, you ever play against DDD, uh, how you pocket it will actually it'll leave the direction that DDD throw it, which is up, left, or down. So he pocketed it while it was bouncing up and down, so when he released it, it bounced up and down as well. Right now, we have Kumar Kirin, Renai. They're up in stocks, but man, did they take a lot of damage? Sasagawa coming through with that up smash in the nick of time just to take that stock. No. Gotta be careful. And another one. Red forward team. air. The rare forward air kill. These guys, these guys aren't scared, man. They know that Renai and Kimura are really good, but they're still going to try their best. Oh, that's a lot of damage. And Komori here with that clutch air dodge. He had to do that because he would have been in a bad spot since he burned his jump in tandem with that air dodge. Yeah, I, we said earlier that Komori and I have some of the best synergy that we've ever seen in the game, but this has mostly been like a one on one match. Yeah. Oh my god. The fact that he actually hit him in the face with a finger and came back and like, yo, get away from the edge. Oh, okay. So the interesting property about inhale and doubles is that based on the character weight, it'll do more damage when he's a star. Ah. So if DDD uh, teams with a big character, it can be actively right to inhale your opponent okay. or your, your teammate and shoot him at your opponent. Ah. Because you can, if they're lighter, you can actually get combos out of it because it hits him with the star hitbox uh -huh. and then they can do an aerial immediate lie out of it. Oh! Ooh. All right, these guys are not playing right now. Renai and Kiri, very, very strong. Those edge guards are, they're just paying out in spades. Yeah, they're they are they are not going to let any flood shenanigans end their tournament uh, winner's bracket career just yet. Yep, and Renai is guarding on the right side of the stage has been rather impressive. Trying to oh! oh! And he still speedy. makes it back. Of course. Here it is. So much pressure right now. And again, Kamitama in a bad spot. He's trying to come back on stage, but Renai just holding on the right side of the oh. stage. And here's the setup. Gets another spike. That actually breaks my heart, because that happens a lot um, when you're trying to up B, and you miss, and you accidentally hit the up on the C stick, and you yeah. do it up air, and you just fall. Just having him a man right yeah. there. Mm. Well, still really fast stuff, but that is the end of it, ladies and gentlemen. Renai and Komori Kiri with the one lead right now. game. Yeah. On Lilat, you know, Komoro and I love that stage. They love that stage. Oh, excuse me. You love that stage? Yeah. I like the music. All right, so here we go, guys. Uh, game two coming up against Kamitama and Sasagawa. With Renai Komoro carrying the lead. Battlefield. Huh? So, the Battlefield pick. As a person who likes ZDD, how do you feel about this decision in teams? I, it, it, it's fine. Um, you know, obviously the bigger stage, the better. Um, but the thing with the Gordos is that, like, when you can get tripped up by platforms a lot, and if they're reflecting back, it's kind of harder to avoid them. So yeah. that's one thing I would watch out for. I but he's doing a great job about using them off stage. So even if they are reflected, he'll be grabbing the ledge and he won't be hit back by them. But his partner can get hit just equally as bad. It's, oh, so much damage right now on Kamitama. Sasaka trying his best to help, but Komori Kiri was walling him out. Finally, a really good team combo from Komori and I, putting Kamitama back in the worst position. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The fr first of the water, that, that wind box from the water made it difficult for him to get back towards with the drift, and that tree was basically the icing on the cake, taking that stop. Yeah, there was almost nothing Kamitama could have done to get out of that. Look at Komo. He's just waiting. He's like, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna swing backwards. 
<laughs> yeah, as you can normal. see, in doubles, the Gordo, normally in singles, it'll just fly to DDD, but technically, since you're on the same team, it also treats your uh, teammate as a possible hurt box to fly back to. Yeah. So right there, it went right past DDD and smacked Mario right in the face. Oh, oh my god! See, that's a, fame, uh, that's a really uh, normal uh, guard crush combo, is yeah. you use the Gordo into a forward smash to break their guard. And Renai dipping super duper low. Alright, yeah, Renai's gonna. Oh! Yeah. Well, here's the thing, right? Oh, hello? He ran out of gas. Yep. Oh, yeah, that is definitely one of the nerfs that happened to. Uh, it was interesting, though, that uh, decision that you saw uh, Kamitama go for. Because, like, when you try to edge guard Renai, right, with Village off stage, this is a character that can come back from nearly anywhere. So that leaves uh, Sasaka by himself. So it's a bit of a risk. Right. Ooh. Yeah. The, see, about these characters that can recover really well, like DDD or Villager, yeah. the, the problem is they can also get edge guarded pretty hard. And even if they recover the stage, they take a lot of percent in the progress. Uh -huh. And Cloud DDD is just so difficult. Villager isn't exactly great either. Yeah, you can just see Renai just picking and choosing the spots really well versus this character. There it is. Como's super capable of just like holding down everything on his own, which allows Renai to play his game comfortably. Oh, thank you. That, that's, that ceiling that stock is huge because Renai had pocketed a forward throw Gordo, which meant it could fly across the speed by uh, the stage at high speed and instant chaos. <laughs> He's right there. Como Rikiri finally losing his first stock. Actually, the MVP right here in this game. Yeah, otherwise it was, otherwise it was pretty close. Yeah. Because he's been getting KOs and just holding stocks. We've definitely in this match seen a lot more uh, team synergy between Como and I. Oh, that forward tilt. Yep. Oh. He, didn't, he didn't shoot the flood. He missed it. Yeah, he thought he was fully charged. Oh, uh, well, he wasn't fully charged. Anyway. Okay, avoiding the threat of the down air. Yeah, especially. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, just, oh, oh. <laughs> just inhaled him right in. No, he inhaled him uh -huh. and dropped inhale just in, as Villager was like, here's a bowling ball. Oh. And look at this, man. They're just putting active hitboxes out there, waiting for the invincibility to wear off. I don't think there's a player in the game that can take on Homo Renai in 2v1. Yeah, 2v1. Yeah. This is, this is going to be really tough. Just threatening from below. Here it is. Let's see this edge guard. Uh -oh. It's Trump. Yeah, I was gonna say that if he tries to grab the ledge again after being Trump, that tree should end the stock, but he's doing a great job here. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting Renai in the process. Still staying alive against both of these guys. Uh-oh. Look at Sasagawa go. Oh, jumping in the air against Cloud though. Very uh, risky. You know that yeah. up air. Very strong and quick. Yeah, but that was an incredible match. Really good. It's always a pleasure. That's why I, I kind of like being in Japan. You get to see all these random characters, and you never know what's going to happen. This game has so many characters, incredibly deep. Oh. Yeah, and it, it's interesting, man. Like, I know there were times uh, at first where people were questioning maybe the balance in this game, right? But as time progressed, you know, Sakurai made the appropriate uh, and necessary changes and now look at look at what we have. You know, we actually have a really good game. It's 1.1.6 has been here for a long time. We have yet to see a change. Yep. Uh, I mean, there, there's definitely some things that could possibly be done here or there. Yep. But yep. it's not 100% perfect. If you look at the just the history of Smash games, there are more quote unquote tournament viable characters in this game yeah. than there are anything. I mean, that also kind of uh, speaks a lot to the format with the the two stocks and uh, the somewhat Smash 4 inconsistency that people.